The promo is they'll drop a single and let you know that this, the album's about to come out on this date, right? First <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> no more, no more just whis whispering in my ear. Just let him go. He'll stumble. He <laughs> did. <laughs> 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 just let him go. <laughs> I heard him too. I heard him too. Because Cam leaned up. I was like, I already know what's happening. But the point I'm trying to make. That you sounded like he was a street cat. Just let him go. He'll come, he'll come on back. <laughs> Put a ball out. What up? This is your boy, Doughboy, and I'm here to tell these guys why Drake is clearly the most influential artist of the decade. This is not even up for debate. He has been wildly That's the whole consistent point of this. for the whole Everything's up decade. The what up, y'all? It's your boy, Kev, on stage, here to tell you why Kendrick Lamar, a.k.a. K-Dot, nah. is the best and most influential artist of the decade. Nope. I shouldn't even be up here to debate this because the most influential artist of the last decade is hands down Beyonce. No, 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 I, no. I'm gonna just walk off now. Yo, what up? To hear more, and I'm here to tell you why J. Cole is hands down the artist of the decade. No, I wouldn't give him that. No, not that. Really? Let him, let him say wouldn't. the topic. <laughs> <laughs> what up, everybody? I'm Patrick Cloud, and I'm here to tell you that the best artist of the decade is none other than a hundred bands at a time. Who? I followed you back with you. Who? I don't like using profanity, but that young thugger will cut you. Well, who? Young thugger thugger. No, no, no. Young thugger. No, you, mis you mispronounced Lil Wayne, because that's where he got his whole swag from, so. No. Lil Wayne. <laughs> True. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Richie Loco, and I'm here to tell you why Rihanna is the best artist of the decade. How? Well, let me tell you, that's what I just said I'm about to do. <laughs> you got to tell me. Did you guys know that in 2019, Drake was the most streamed artist with 4.65 billion streams on Spotify, and he didn't even drop an album. You know who did? That's Michael? how good he is. What? The kids that can't vlog now. So what? Uh, <laughs> let me list you the albums, if you don't mind. Section 80, Good Kid, Mad City, mm. To Pimp a Butterfly. Like that. Uh. Damn. Really? Mm -hmm. You like to pimp a butterfly? To pimp a butterfly was more of an artistic piece. Well, I, I can't imagine you liking jazz infused hip hop and complex thinking schemes. That's <laughs> too much for you. Hands down, nobody has performance like Beyonce. She can fall down a flight of stairs and you would never even notice because she'll never break from singing. Can we talk She is all? amazing. She did fall down a flight. She, she did, and she is, kept on, and you wouldn't even have noticed if you blinked. She pulled it off her every step. Too. Beyonce can do anything. She, she has influenced so many women, so many people, and on top of that, she has stayed true to her little country Houston self doing all of this. She can do whatever she wants and people will still love can Beyonce. Can you let the people to the left, to the left talk now? No. <laughs> wow. J. Cole earned our love and our respect from his mixtapes, the come up, he gave you the whole story, how he stood outside of Rock Nation, Jay-Z got out the car, tried to hand him the CD, Jay-Z was like, nah, and hey, kept I going. Hey, pressure for you was on the come up. Ooh. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lil Wayne had, what, the 2000s yeah. on lock, right? He passed the torch he never to Young Thugger Thugger. He did not. Right? Did. Regardless of if he wanted to or not. <laughs> <laughs> She's been doing this decade as makeup. That's, and she, and look what she's doing, she's killing it. I got on her makeup Kill right now, it's she, fire. She, it's fire! See, that's why I say that makes an artist, her branding is so strong, it's so special. He be at Smack Battle, y'all know I'm a big Battle Rap fan. He be at Battle Rap just chilling. He be at chillin'. Snack Battle. <laughs> <laughs> Oreos, <laughs> four by four. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> <laughs> Open up that ketchup. No. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> <laughs> no. people, he also makes great radio songs. He also gives great features. He's great on Beyonce's formation. They were kicking the water around. And his award show performances are top notch. Damn. 2010 to 2019, <laughs> this is pretty nobody good. is rocking with Kendrick Lamar. And he goes away, but not so much as J. Cole, but he's not releasing as much music as Drake. Or it's Beyonce. just enough amount of music. Kendrick okay, picks the perfect amount of music and his roster, the rest of TDE, Fire. Yeah. Jay on, Rock. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Let me say something. SZA. Shut up. Wayne was such a good rapper that he had uh, like maybe like four or five styles, right? Yeah. One of those styles was the little high pitched thing that like. 
He would do that like every now and then. Young Thug took that and ran and Young made Thug was a like, hole. Yes, but all the time. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> She's done so many things, and on top of that, philanthropically, like her and Jay Z. Philanthropically. Yeah, that. So that, that, that means getting work. money. Yeah, that it is it. work. It means giving money How do you to say it? people philanthropically. It's speaking. like philanthropy? Yes. yes. Philanthropically. Philanthropically <laughs> speaking. That it's not a word and he didn't know that. Confidently. Like, why would you say that what? if you don't? Why would she just say that word? I thought she was doing like how I do it. No. no. Most she people just say the word know. they know. We know how to spell. None of them have a successful music label that they built up on their own. TV. And, and, no, that's not Kendrick's label. That's Top's label. I'm what? talking oh, about. They work together. OVO that's records. Top's label. J. Cole owns Dreamville. Boz, JID, Earth Gang, Ari Lennox. Need I, you loved Ari Lennox's album. I, I, One of the best quiet. albums of the year. What, what <laughs> artist has Drake put out that has put out that type of the return? The Weeknd. Party Next Door. Weekend doesn't belong to Drake. Party Next Door is affiliated. Now, what else do you have to say? You Nothing. Shut like your it. fat lips up. <laughs> In the art of rap, Young will, Thug will give is you, a painter. I'll give you this. The what? way, no, in, in, in the, the way that he puts his music together and the way that he like structures his words, it is second to none. I will give you that. Influence. But I can't give you artists of the decade though. Who influence. Is he influence? Wise. Everybody. Every Lil Yachty. He does. Literally every rapper in the game. If you don't sound like Young Thug, you're either weird or you have something really good going for yourself. Everybody else has Thugger somewhere in there. I'm not saying he's a bad rapper. I'm just saying I don't think he's the most the best. JID. JID sounds just like JID is Kendrick Lamar's. Oldest son, yes, he and he like is him. destroying. When I first I heard him, J. I thought it was Kendrick. Huh? I thought it was Kendrick. A lot of times he sounds like Kendrick, and he rapping same type of wordplay, and he's funny and stuff. Kendrick Lamar is the most entertaining, and I don't even know but if see, you have to what entertain. Kendrick does. What Kendrick does to me is the same thing what Andre 3000 does to me. He's one of my favorites, but I just feel like I don't get enough of it. I'll be like, I That's want more. That's a stupid more. argument. A good musician or good artist should leverage their skill into something else that's yeah. long standing. Like that yeah. makeup, the beauty industry is a three, four billion dollar industry. She's cake. She's up. killing in that. And not only that, she, her, her line was one of the first lines that actually gave they colors to diversity. women of color. Yeah. 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 Like, and and, really and also, the, the Savage by Fenty, thank God for that. Amen? <laughs> hey, huh? that, Savage that, by Fenty. That lingerie. The lingerie? Yo, that lingerie see what is see, nice. That's when you say artists of the decade because they they can stay around in all facets. Like, they don't necessarily have to do music to stay around. Like, she did, you said the lingerie, the beauty. You know what I mean? She can go And tour, she had a like partnership she, with she Puma. Movies, she had her own. But that, 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 oh, that's she did have Puma. That's swaying me. Puma, that's what I'm saying. That's a strong, that's a strong brand. I mean, but she ain't Beyonce. She's not Beyonce. So that, but, but if you, that's what I'm saying. For She's the most, Rihanna. If, you, She's you, like you diet Beyonce. <laughs> diet Beyonce. <laughs> a lot of rappers play it really safe with the little Migos triplet. Young Thug changed all that. Him and Future are the only rappers that are trying to. Future. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga is literally, his, his song, his literally, his albums are dot, 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 and then it picks up on the next album. It is literally one long album. There is nothing different about Future's flow. But I never knew who the Migos were until I heard him on the remix of Versace. I didn't know who Future was. He puts us onto their music. He doesn't take anything. He doesn't say, this is Drake, this is my song. How you not you're block boy heavy? <laughs> <laughs> Drake has the OT Genesis syndrome. He can make great that is singles. That's the worst thing you've ever said. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> OT, OT, oh, Gen no, OT Genesis makes amazing nigga, singles. He makes classic hits, but he hasn't what put out an album. What are you talking album. about? He hasn't put out an album. You can't compare Drake and OT Genesis. Yes, you can. He put That's out a reach. Reach. That was he a put out Kendrick is also the best storyteller of all the rappers on here. Good Kid Mad City, I, I was just transported into Compton, what it was like to be gang affiliated, but not any gang. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm in the car with them. I made a left, I made a right, and then another left. One lucky night in the city. Were you scared to get active? I feel like you were nervous. That's no, I love Kendrick. I used to teach Bible study. That song, Art of Peer Pressure, I used to teach Bible study to my teens based on that album. They were like, what? yes, because they were already listening to it. What are we going to, what's the point of acting like it don't exist? They were like, yes. You yes. Kendrick over yes. the they were like, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Like, sometimes you're just with people who are doing stuff, and if you don't be separate from them, you're going to be caught up in the same stuff they're caught up in. And they were like, 
That's better than the Bible. Makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> For real, teens ain't reading the Bible like that, but they are listening to Kendrick Lamar. So I use his influence to teach about the Lord. And nobody's fans are as die hard as Beyonce. They be OG, Laker though. fans. It's too much. They no, the, OG, no, the Beehive will, will beat the Laker if fans. If you say up. Beyonce's a good actor, then I know you're in the Beehive, because then you say she's right. doing everything. No, no, I'm still, they be I still have my bullying. senses about me, but I do love Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> they still haven't let Carrie Hilson off the hook. It's been like 12 years. Like, leave her alone. Was she, she said something about Beyonce? Yeah. yeah. She, I know she regrets it because Beehive is like, no, your career will where's, never return. Because she, she the one that was like, she, she picked me up and brought me in the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the problem with J. Cole. There is nothing. Yawn. <laughs> As a person, just yawn, bro. Like, you, would, you, would, you would invite Kendrick to a game night before J. Cole. Yes. yes. That's Why? Nice. With Kendrick's wordplay, he'd be amazing at Taboo. Scrabble? <laughs> Scrabble? He'd be, he'd be doing all the different voices and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and say it's a young thug that they're they're biting off of. It's just how Atlanta is right now. Because if you all these people that you name are influenced by Atlanta, so it's not young thug. He was just the first one you heard about. So you can't but sit here and not, say everybody bit off of him. Loki, that's a good point, but it's not like, Atlanta, like you just walk around and you're just like, oh, you do. They take your order. Everybody, yes. Would you like a piece of Panda Man? And he got a Nobel Peace Prize. And he won a freaking Nobel Did Peace he? Prize. Yes. You don't remember that? Yes. For his album. Yes. Wasn't it for uh, To Pimp a Butterfly? Yeah. You want a Nobel Peace Prize? Yes. yes. You can do that? <laughs> that yeah. For, like, that. Man, what can Kendrick Lamar bench, though? <laughs> Outsells Beyonce by a lot. I really? Mean, yes, bro. So why does Beyonce seem like she's? Yeah, Beyonce's because, fandom is yeah, amazing. Beyonce, see, Beyonce wow. has to go on tour with Jay Z. You see what I'm no, saying? No, 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 no. He's she holding her it. back. Jay Z goes on tour with Beyonce. <laughs> right. <laughs> have you ever gone to a Young Thug live show? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any other. I've seen multiple. I've seen Cole like four I, times in concert. I, I don't have. I don't know of anybody who said they've gone to see him live and was like, "Yo, most influential." Best concert. Well, I've people just don't talk like that. No, I'm saying, but like, you don't even see anybody. <laughs> Most like, influential from like, this concert. That's my, that's the best no one concert. would say that anyway. <laughs> In conclusion, the reason why I'm calling hey, Drake. Hey, don't favorite Kendrick Lamar album is Ham. Shut up. <laughs> the reason why Drake is the best artist is because he is doing things that no other that. rap artist can do. He is breaking records that, that will never come down, okay. and he just simply Shut makes up. the best music. Doughboy has just a dildo named Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kev, you made oh, all you of made your points. points. He's great. <laughs> Thank you, brutal. Kendrick Lamar. Um, my favorite rapper outside of Toby New He's from the coast, too. So he's from the West Coast. So. Uh, I on, love give, Kendrick. Give me something real quick. Great storytelling. You, there's okay. nothing to say, guys. Nah, I, only I got it. 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 You're Ken Thick Lamar. <laughs> In conclusion, we can go on all day, but why should we? Because Beyonce is clearly the most influential artist of the decade. And if you disagree with me, you hate women with children. Wow, oh Jesus. <laughs> like I said, artists of the decade, look no further than Mr. Jermaine Cole, Mr. Dreamville himself. Y'all know it's true. You don't like me, fight me, nigga. You're Jay Bold. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. It just came out, so I'm not going to be bold enough to say it was a classic album, but I really like that. A nigga named Young Thug came out with an album called So Much Fun. That's an oxymoron in itself. Come on. Uh, I thought you had something for that. Yeah, I was waiting I for it. You were to great Y'all go to the same salon. Oh, All right. <laughs> this is why the company closed. <laughs>